Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl, Block Looney Tune, and I am here with another Tune topic, and this is all about Paula Dean. Oh my gosh. Just the controversy surrounding her deposition and what she said and how she feels about black people, and it, it, it was it's just been a crazy, crazy week, you know what I'm saying? And how do I feel? I feel that Paula made a mistake. I feel like Paula made a huge, huge mistake. It cost her her sponsors. It cost her her job. It cost her. But guess what? Paula ain't no different. Paula is not different. Paula is one of the many racist people here in this world. I mean, people act like she's just one, the only one that exists. Okay. Yeah, she's Paula Dean. Yeah, she cooks Southern food. Yeah, she cooks maybe like a lot of black people cook. But that don't make you, that don't make you, you know, that does not give you a pass. You, a lot of people believe that because Paula is in this situation right now uh, with losing her job at the Food Network, that she deserves a pass. I say no, Paula, you don't deserve a pass. Just can't go around making these comments, making these remarks, and, you know, talking about you, you want to have a plantation theme wedding, and talking about your friend, quote-unquote friend, Hollis, that's black as a board, and then uh, the apology. Okay, everybody knows about the apology. The apology was like, okay, not sincere at all. Everyone knows the apology was both of them, both of them, <laughs> not sincere at all and then I'm like this why apologize twice why do you feel the need to come out on camera more than once to apologize for something that you for apolo to apologize for the same thing you know the fact that you came out and apologized way after it went out of proportion that just, you know, that's suspicious anyway. But then to come back around and then to apologize. To apologize a second time. <laughs> and then, after that, your sons come out. You have your sons come out. And then they, you know, are defending mom. And saying that she's never, ever, ever said the N-word. That's not what your deposition says. You know, Paula is, is totally contradictory to what her deposition says. Says that her, you know, they didn't want her, they didn't want the kids to use the N-word in a mean, quote-unquote, mean way. But that's not what your sons say. Your sons say, you know, you never said it. Okay, something's not quite right here. I'm looking at Paula Dean and I'm like, but she's no different. At the same time, she's no different different people out here are defending her simply because what she cooks food you know makes tv shows and has cookbooks and cooks southern food that a lot of us eat and it's okay is it is it really okay that because she does these things you know it's all right for her to say these things and she should lose she shouldn't lose her job and she shouldn't lose her sponsors or anything she she should still continue to make just as much money you know i mean my th you can believe what you want to believe and a lot of people are using this whole free speech thing with her there are times and places for everything and she chose the wrong time and the wrong place to make her true feelings known you know 
some things are meant to be left at home. You know, amongst you and you and yours. You know, the minute you bring it out into the world, into the public eye, for everyone to see, you pretty much have to face the consequences. I feel it's like this. I, I'm like, hey, shouldn't have said it. You may have felt that way, but you know different. You know, I ain't hating on, you know, the fact that you're free speech. You can say whatever you want to say. But, you know, you, you suffer the consequences. Whatever happens to you, happens to you. So then you can't come back, you know, backpedaling, doing the apologies, trying to do the quality control, bringing your sons out, all this nonsense, all this bull. It's ridiculous. You know, there's no need for all that now. You done said what you had to say. And Paula Dean, she's from the South. You know, she's from the South. She was probably raised this way. She probably raised to, you know, to believe that her saying these things is okay. You know, and we don't live... We don't live in that era anymore. We this is 2013. We don't we don't live in an era where the the way she was explaining things is the norm. It's not the norm, Paula Dean. I'm sorry, it's not. And the truth is there are others. There are others. There are other racist people out here in the world. I mean, come on, y'all. It's not like it's not like y'all didn't know. I mean, come on, this is what? This is YouTube. This is YouTube. YouTube, they're all over YouTube. I mean, this this is not like something brand new that we've never ever seen before. People look like they are so shocked. Oh my God, she said the N-word. Oh my God, she's a racist. Oh my God. Why are people so even shocked about this? People thought, I mean, before this came out was racism, like... Didn't it, did it not exist? Um, I thought racism was still alive and kicking. Before Paula Dean And after Paula Dean <laughs> And it'll still be alive. I mean, the thing about it is, now it's been brought to everybody's attention again. You know, the whole race wars, the, uh, the use of the N-word, everything... Always, it, this conversation, it dies down. It dies down. After the controversy, nobody be talking about it. Until the next white person. Until the next white person or famous white person says it again. Or says something negative or says something that's considered to be racist. Then it'll be an uproar again. So it's never going to die down. Racism is not dying no time soon. I would like to think that it is. But it's not dying anytime soon. So, you know, Paula Dean is just going to have to deal with the consequences. And it's going to get... And I, I'm pretty sure that it is going to get much worse. And especially if she keep coming out here with these damn apologies <laughs> and making statements I mean whoever whoever <laughs> works for her pe public relations her public relations team I be getting rid of them whoever told her to even come out with some type of statement twice it ain't work it was horrible and whoever told her sons to come out there, that's worse too. They just making it worse. They making it so worse. They looking more and more guilty. The more and more this comes out, they're looking more and more guilty. And there are and we already know that they're guilty. There's like video and documentation of how guilty Paula Dean really is. So there's really not much left to say about it. We just watch what happens, you know, let the chips fall where they may. So that's pretty much what I think about it. So if you guys want to chime in, you can leave your comments below. And I will holler at you guys later in the next video. All right? Peace. My flow hard like they get the skimpy clothes. On individuals when anything goes.